more than 10 minutes. Good morning. Damn. All right. I just got done working out, so still sweating. It's good, though. Um, boy, I don't think there's probably a lot of coaches not happy with their seeds. Um, you know, I think you got to get the seeds. You, you should get the seeds you, you've earned throughout the year. Um, I can tell you this, that I know that the, the, the seeding formula that they have for wrestling this year will change for next year. Um, I, I know that the coaches are going to get together and, and we're going to make sure that that happens because uh, you can't just go by a formula. I mean, there's, got, there's, a, there's a lot more to it. There's injuries. Um, there's other things that have to be taken in consideration. Uh, and if you, I won't get too in-depth in the formula, but basically if you have some bad losses, they don't hurt you at all. And, and that shouldn't be the case. Um, so, so that'll get remedied for next year. But, you know, the seeds are the seeds. And there's nothing we can do about it now. Um, you know, when I saw Dylan Peters come out as a nine seed, was I happy about that? No. Um, I think that he deserves a much higher seed than that. Uh, he's, uh, he's only lost to the top three guys in the country, and he beat the guy who's, who's seeded four. So, you know, if you look at it that way, he does deserve to be seeded higher. But once, you, once the brackets come out, they're out. Um, so now the only thing that he can worry about is his first match um, against the kid from American. Uh, you know, so we, we, believe me, Coach, Coach had some talks with some people, and, and I'm not the only coach around the country because if anybody paid attention to the seeds and where they're at, um, there's a lot of them that don't have a lot of sense to them. Um, you know, sometimes that's what happens when you go by just a formula. So that'll get remedied for next year, and, and like I said, it doesn't matter now. It's only about the match in front of them. Um, so, you know, Dylan was a nine seed. Uh, Cooper was 13. He matches up with a kid from Purdue. He wrestled him earlier in the season and, and, and beat him. He beat him pretty handily, but you know, every match is different. And you know, that's one thing we tell our guys. It doesn't matter if, you, if, you, if you've beat a guy before, if you've lost a guy from before, every match is different. You know, Cooper's a prime example of that. The kid from Old Dominion, the first match, I think he lost 7-4, and the next match he beat him 7-1. So it, it can turn like that. Um, and and, and you know, we're going we're gonna to wrestle some guys that we've beaten before. We're going to wrestle some guys that have beat us before. Um, but we have to be ready to wrestle each and every time and, and worry about the match in front of us. And, and really, that's what our guys are doing. Um, Basil, Basil will have a pigtail against a kid from South Dakota State. Uh, so he'll be up right away. Um, he'll be one of the first matches out on, on the floor. And then uh, Blaze got the seven seed, and he'll wrestle a kid from Illinois. Um, so I'm not going to go too in depth on the bracket and, and who, who, you know, we can prognosticate all we want that, hey, we should see this team next and this team next. But uh, I think as any coach does, they don't worry about that. They only worry about what their guys ha has in front of them, and whoever ends up out on the mat or who ends up out on the court um, in the next game, that's who that's who you get ready for. Um, so I know we got the four guys ready. Uh, we had a good workout this morning. You know, really the, the work's done. You know, like you say, the hay's in the barn, and now it's now it's just time to uh, to get ready to wrestle and be in the right frame of mind. Um, I can tell you that uh, I feel good with where guys are at. I feel good with our preparation, and you know, a guy like Cooper last year. You know, he told me a little bit, hey, I got a little bit worked up going into the Nationals. You know, I kind of, it got to me a little bit. And, and he competed that way a little. And, and he said he said he's ready this year. He said he's, you know, a year mature and everything's kind of in place now. So I'm excited to see the tournament that him and the, and the other three guys are going to put together. Because uh, you can do a lot of damage with four guys. Would we like to have ten guys? Yeah, I mean, we would. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that we had, we had everybody in this morning, they're working and, and they're working for next year already. And I think that's important to know that guys, Guys aren't sitting back and kind of, well, you know, when the season's over or, or when the springtime comes or when summer comes or when next fall comes, we're going to get ready for next season. Uh, they're getting ready for next season now. Um, so any questions? Nothing? You don't got anything, Rima? When are you leaving for St. Louis? When are you going? Are you going? Uh, we'll, we'll head out tomorrow. We'll head out tomorrow. I like to get there a little bit early. We'll get, in the, we'll get on the mats on Wednesday, just kind of get in that arena. Um, get in that atmosphere a little bit, and then guys can sit and relax. So uh, Thursday morning, first round. Uh, I think everything's going to be on ESPN, one of the ESPN3 or one of the ESPN. So uh, they have all the mats up, too. So if you can't get down to St. Louis, um, hopefully if you can't get to St. Louis, you're going to Seattle. Because I tell you what, uh, all, the Panther, all the Panthers appreciate um, you guys being up in the stands, and we love seeing the purple, purple down there. So... Um, I guess not even anything else. You guys made you made me you made me quit quit my workout early too. I'm not happy about that, Colin. I'm gonna have to finish. We might have to finish out in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, coach. Yeah. With, with four guys, realistically, yeah. what 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 could you see your team doing team wise in the in the team stage? Well, you four, Where could you get to? You get four champs. Four champs. You get some bonus points. You know, you're 80, 90 points. So I don't know. I mean. 
that's that's what you plan on doing. Uh, I think you know we took four guys two years ago to Des Moines, and I think we were 15th. You know we scored around 40 points. You know my my goal is always to score more more points in the national tournament every year. And so far that's kind of been the, that's been the trend. We scored more points every year in the national tournament. So you know we're going to have to have a heck of a tournament and, and and score some bonus points and have guys make big runs. You know to be able to continue to to increase our point total every year. So. Um, that's that's what that's that's the plan going in. We want to increase our point total every year because if we keep doing that, then pretty soon you're going to be up on top of that leaderboard. You mentioned the coverage before. Everything's on either ESPN or ESPN U. There's all the ESPN three stuff. Yep. I mean, how long has this been the case where Weston's been getting that kind of attention and that kind of airtime on the World Wide? Uh, really, really. Last year is the first time that they they've expanded to all the mats. Um, in in you know, if you're a wrestling fan, tell them tell them you love it. Tell them you appreciate it. Tell them you want to see more. Because uh, because when 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 people are tuning in and they have the ratings high, that's that's what gets them to want to do more. Um, and, and and we we want to get wrestling, uh, you know, kind of what we're trying to do with the national duels moving forward is we want we want to make it a big deal. We want it on ESPN. We want, you know, you you get every single conference basketball game on under the sun. You know, we'd like to get at least one wrestling meet a week on. Uh, you know, there, there's 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 a lot to see and there, there's a lot of action and, and there's no reason that that uh, hopefully ESPN won't start doing that. But, but the fans out there got to tell them that, that we, want it, we want it more and we appreciate what they're doing. Let's, let's get more. So um, I think obviously the, they must be getting some good ratings to continue to do that and expand their coverage. So um, uh, hopefully they just keep doing that because the more that we get out there, the better. Is the 125-pound weight class just really loaded? Because it seems like Dylan Peters would be better than a nine seed. Did you hear what I said before? Yeah. Ryman? <laughs> I wanted you to explain that. <laughs> oh, see, I, I'm glad. The thing that I'm happy about is that this press conference wasn't right after I saw the seeds. <laughs> because because it wouldn't have been, it would have been, it would have been a lot different. No, you know, the thing is that they have a formula. They have a formula that they go by. Um, they have about seven or eight factors. Uh, and, you know, where his point total ended up, that's where he ended up. Uh, and, you know that he explained it to me and he showed me. Do I still agree with it? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that it's an accurate uh, representation of, of, of where the guy should be seated. No. It, but if you look across the board, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of, um, coaches that aren't happy. I mean, there's a lot of. You can look at almost every weight class and you can be like, well, how in the heck is this guy in front of this guy? And then if you're going by points and only you know only quality wins and and some of these other factors and losses aren't taken into account or pass, pass credentials. I mean, I don't know how you can discredit a guy that's a two-time national champion. I know maybe, hey, maybe he hasn't done it yet this season, but he's still a two-time national champion. You can't, you can't discredit that. Um, and I know it is based on this season, but come on. You know, you got a guy that won the Southern Scuffle this year at 149. He beat the top seed at 149, and he's not even, he's not even seeded in the tournament. So, you know, there, there's got to be some things that, that are adjusted. And I know everybody's talked about it, and will it get adjusted? But like I said, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. Do I think he's better than a nine seed? The thing is, is he's going to have a chance to prove it, though. You know, we'll see on Saturday night where, where he's at. He's got a chance to prove it and to move up way above that nine seed. And that's what his plan to do. And actually, it, I think it, 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 it burned him a little bit. So that's good. I like Dylan Peters upset. Because I tell you what, uh, then, then, he's, then he's really ready to go. So thanks again. And hopefully we see you some down in, or, blah, blah, blah. We see you in St. Louis. Go Panthers. <laughs>